Alright, what's up guys? So, um, I'm pretty sure this is day three of Canada. And so, um, basically what was happening was these fish were in shallow, um, on day three. And then we started to figure them out. We were fishing shallower spots, a lot of spots like that we didn't know about, too. so we were kind of just trying out new water. And we were kind of just finding the fish. So, um, you can right. see here we get like four keepers fishing shallow. And then I'll, you'll see later in the video, we go back shallow for day four and the fish are just gone. So it was kind of like a hunt and um, I'll kind of um, give you a narration on that hunt um, throughout the video. So hope you enjoy. Okay guys though, I'm sorry that I had to keep these fish, but um, it's just kind of what they were doing. Um, they like to eat the smallmouth, so um, I just went along with it. But um, we did eat all these fish, so yeah. nothing went to waste. I heard there's good fishing there, actually, for musky. Muskies? Yeah. That one. Nice one, nice one. Give me that, give me that. Keeper, keeper. Keeper though, yeah. Probably. Yes. Yeah, yeah, we can keep him. He's like as big as yours. Nice little small. Yeah. yeah, this spot is. This is where I got him, dude. There, it's literally perfect. There's like weeds and rocks. Decent one. Uh, might be a little small. Eh? What do we do? Do we him or no? No, he's good. Uh, he's too small, right? Just throw him back. Actually, let me see. He's smaller than that, I mean, probably keep him, but. I'll throw him back. Yeah, we'll get him. Very healthy. Will be nice. Another one, dude. They're killing it. Yeah. I think he's decent. Yeah. He's a little. I got one. Oh, nice one, nice one. Yeah, 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 real nice, real nice. Oh, he's really jumping. Running at me. Oh, yeah. I'm going to have to work through the glare here. Yeah, I know. can't really see it either. Jesus, look at that. It's pretty good. You literally called it, Rick. You're like, protected. Yeah. I didn't really get a good hook set, though. Hopefully it doesn't fall. No, I didn't even know he was on. Jesus, dude. Come here, buddy. Here he comes, here he comes. Got him, you got him, you got him. Oh my god. Yes, let's Ooh, go. Yet. Yeah. Do you him? Yeah. Alright guys, so this well, is actually my PB smallmouth weighing it at three pounds, two ounces, so it was pretty exciting to catch him. Dockfish baby. 
I highly recommend fishing docks whenever you can if you're on a boat or if you're even just at your own dock. I the fish love to hide under docks, especially during the summertime, so I highly recommend fishing them. He was he was like as big as the 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 little yeah, ones. Yeah. Oh no, that was that was a rock. That was a rock. I think. That's a fish though. This another one. So actually what happened here was Pat went to grab the net so we could net this oh. fish and he actually ended up oh. dropping his rod in the Honestly. water so we had to net his on, rod and then grab his rod, put it back in the boat, then grab the net and then net my fish. So right here, that right was pretty awesome for him to get that net job done. That's the fourth keeper of the day. Same fish? Yeah, it looks... Well, he'd have a hook in his mouth. What a save, Rick. Let's get another one. All right, guys, I can, as you can see here, we're fishing a completely different location. Got it. It's a lot deeper water, and um, basically all the fish that were in shallow before that were up spawning just completely disappeared, and they vanished. So we had to find them again. We fished deeper water. They weren't there. And then we had to come to, like, water that was kind of, like, in the back bays, but it was, like, a little deeper in the back bays, like, on islands and stuff, and that's basically where we started to find the fish again, and then we started to get on another hot bite. So, um... It was it was nice to work for the fish. Um, this is just a little small one, but we get some bigger ones later. So keep on watching. Oh, was it there? There he goes. Got one. Net, 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 net. Nice, nice one, nice one. Really nice. Stay down, stay down, stay down. Yeah, yeah, he's nice, he's nice. I set the hook hard on him. Oh yeah, he's nice, he's Come nice. Come on, baby. Rick, get in there. Oh my god. Let's go! Let's go! Definitely a keeper. So as you can hear me say in the last video, um, we were missing a ton of fish because we just weren't even filling the bites and we weren't setting the hook hard enough. So what we just started doing was if anything felt like somewhat of bite, we just set the hook super hard as you could see right there as it just did. So, and that got us a lot more fish. No! Oh my god. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I set the hook hard. Holy shit. Let him, let him, let him, let him. Keeper? I think so, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, baby! Got one? Need the net? I'm grabbing, I'm grabbing, it's in the boat! Ugh. No! How nice! Biggest, biggest, biggest fish I've seen all trip. I set that on so hard, bro. Dude! Oh my god. That thing's huge. Same one. Is it actually? Yeah. Got him! Let's go, oh, Rick! No oh, way! Look! Oh, oh, <laughs> Holy shit, look at that thing. We gotta weigh him. Dude, yeah, that yeah. is like, that, that might be the biggest one. That's gotta be the biggest one. That might be, right, it's, it's it could be bigger than. 
Three pounds. Oh, you beat me, Rick. Three pounds, five ounces. Let's go. Yeah, I knew he was like near the side of the mark. All right, get the shirt.